the 18-year-old from Moscow, who won here a couple of years ago. Runner-up last year. The last young woman to beat Medvedeva. No one's managed it since. Elena Radionova. Fifth at the moment, looking for a medal. Triple toe loop. Better than the one she did in the short program. Lovely lean landing, landing on that triple flip. chance to sell the program and no one sells it better than her name. Love the arm gestures. So expressive. Triple Sarko not quite clean in the rotation in the end of the Sarko. Back in form with the triple loop double toe. She cuts a wonderful figure out on the ice. But the certainty that we had when she was 16, when she was 15, seems to have gone. I wonder if that's part of the maturing process. Her body has obviously changed fundamentally. She's quite a tall young woman now. So much has changed, but I don't feel the same confidence. 
No, you're right, and it does play such a factor. We can't hide from that that these young ladies, um, they learn their triple jump skills normally in prepubescent phase, and then as their body changes, it has a big impact on the dynamics and the biomechanics of these big jumps, and we can't hide from that, and that's a, a difficult challenge to go through, a difficult process to go through, and that has a knock-on impact psychologically on these skaters who've been in Radinova's case, a European medalist and somebody who, who had beaten Medvedeva, who's gone on to dizzy heights. And it's really difficult to come through that. You then look to the likes of maybe Mirai Nagasu, Karolina Kostner, who've come through it and they've relearned their triples almost with a different um, physicality. Uh, but it's being able to, for the coaching team, keep her buoyant through this tough time. I actually thought she came out in the free program with more aggression than she did in the short program, and I felt much more conviction to the triple loops, triple toe that started, and the flip. Here's the loops toe, and I think she was further around than the short program. In the short program, she was deemed under-rotated on the toe. Mm, maybe the same case again, but certainly facially, she was committing to the technical panel that she'd fully rotated it. It was just such a tragedy that she went down on the loop that you'll probably see it, I'm sure, on the slow motion, but the takeoff of the loop, the, the technical panel know that the intention was to jump a triple loop, and she had that awful fall that so many skaters have. We've all had that kind of fall, just not in a senior Grand Prix in the Olympic season. This, the loops, triple loops, half loop, triple salco. I think she was under rotated here. Yes, under rotated there, two footed. So that big impact on the technical panel scores there, and obviously she should be missing as well in her technical score five points or so from that triple loop, depending on what we would expect to have happened in the landing of it here, touching down early with the the free foot as well, so oh, there it is. Oh, I, f I feel that I've been in that situation, it's not fun. But she's always great to watch. Lovely routine. It was, it was a good routine. I like the program. She needs 119 to stay in front of Mariah Bell. And she's got it, so she won't be dropping, but she had her eyes focused on a medal here, and that's very unlikely to happen now.